Hello and welcome. Please read the problem, pause the video, and try it on your own. Okay, so I'm going to sketch a little bit as I read this problem because this problem has a lot of context to it, so I want to make sure I'm making sense of it. So we have an asteroid that's this distance in miles from Earth. So, you know, why not? I'm going to draw the Earth. This is my Earth. I'll call it E. And let's say the asteroid, we'll call this asteroid A, and I have color here, so I'll, I'll draw in red. So here's asteroid A. And we're just told that the distance is approximately, of course, this huge number, 10 to the 10th, that's 10 billion. So um, we're dealing with 9.841 times 10 to the 10th. That's our distance, and that's in miles, all right, M. And then we have another asteroid. We don't know exactly where it is, but we know that it's not as far. It's 3.1 times 10 to the 8th. So I'll just draw it here. I'll draw it a little bit larger. We don't know how big it is. All right, so now we're told this other asteroid is this different distance. And it's less, I know, because the power of 10 is lower. 10 to the 8th is of the order 10 million. Uh, sorry, shoot, 100 million. Right, 10 to the 6th is a million. 10 to the 7th is 10 million. So 10 to the 8th is 100 million. So it's closer. And this is not the scale at all. It's two powers of 10 closer. So it's 100 times closer. It should be way closer. I should probably draw it like right here. But I already drew this line, so I'll leave it. So the idea, they want to say how much further is one asteroid from the other. So you can imagine the paths of the asteroids in terms of distance, right? If I extend this like a circle, right? Right here we have this path. So I don't know if the asteroid is traveling in this path, but the distance between the Earth and the asteroid, if we draw a circle like this, the distance from the Earth to it, if I draw the center here, let's say, if I draw a distance from the center point of the Earth to where the circle is, I get the same number each time. Now to keep my model consistent, I'm thinking out loud as I go, sorry, I'm going to extend this line as well. So we're comparing the distance of B to A, I'm just thinking, okay, well the distance from Earth to A, would, if I was to like look at that distance in any direction, I could draw the circle. So we're trying to find the difference right, in these two distances. So, so it's really kind of like this piece right here, from the center, I should have done this from the beginning, from the center of this asteroid A, right, to the path that, the, that represents the distance of B from the Earth. So I draw this as well. So going back, it makes more sense, sorry about that. I should draw to the center of each asteroid. And again, I'm just working this out as I go. So you, you're hearing my thinking process. So how much longer is the distance to the center of the asteroid here to this asteroid as well. And I didn't have to draw it to the centroid. I didn't have to draw the center of this asteroid. It just seems to make a lot more sense to me. So to find that, we're going to subtract, right? Because the key phrasing is how much further, not how many times further. So we're going to subtract. So this is a subtraction problem. Let's have at it. So we have 9.841 times 10 to the 10th miles minus 3.1 times 10 to the 8th miles. I'm going to leave the miles out of it here. But I can't subtract right away because the problem is I have different powers of 10. These are different place values. So I'm going to mess around with this number right here so I can subtract it. 3.1 times 10 to the 8th. I want it to be in terms of 10 to the 10th so I can subtract. So to do that, I have to multiply by two powers of 10. But then I have to bring the number back down to scale because I can't just change the size of a number. So I divide by two powers of 10 and our decimal was left here twice. So it's 0, 0.0, right? 3, 1. Now this is the same number, I'm just rewriting it so I can have the same power of 10. So canceling this out. Now I'm dealing with 10 to the 10th, I'm dealing with um, 10 billions, right? So it's easier to add. And I can just line this number up, right? Zero, oops, zero point zero three one times 10 to the 10th. So because I have the powers of 10 the same, I'm dealing with the same relative place value. We're dealing here in 10 billion, so it's about nine D billion, 9, 10 billions, minus 0.03, 10 billions. All right, so um, 1 minus 1 is 0, 4 minus uh, 3 is 1, 8 minus 0 is 8, and 9 minus 0 is 9. So this is in terms of 10 billion. So here our answer could be 9.81, we don't need that 0 there, times 10 to the 10th. So I'll write that down, and that's our answer, 9.81 times 10 to the 10th. And that's in miles, so you can put the units there as well. All right, oops. Thank you very much.